Ew, Mintorials here. So this is what my hair looks like pre-dread installation. These are of a mixed variety. Half I actually made myself and half I got traded by a friend whose dreads I had installed a couple years back. And now I am sectioning my hair for placement. I am the kind of person who likes to leave my bangs out of my dreads because I feel like my bangs frame in my face just seems to suit me a lot better than all of my hair up into dreads. But it's definitely to each their own. I just like to have my bangs out since I could do more styles that way. Now, there's a lot of different ways for installing dreads. Uh, what I like to do is I start from the bottom and I section and you want to get like small sections at a time and what I do is I twist them and then I take a crochet hook loop it through the dread hole and then I pull my hair through the hole itself now you can also get dreads that are called double-ended and they don't have a loophole. These ones are called single-ended. Double-ended basically is a similar process except for you don't have a loophole to pull the hair through. You just free braid and that is what I'm doing now. I am braiding this hair strand with the dread. The dread being one of the sections of braid included with these two separated hair pieces. And what I do is I basically just braid it as tight as possible, very close to my scalp, as close as possible because these have to stay in for a month. And I mean like, you don't want to keep these kind of dreads in for longer than a month or two because they start to actually permanently dread into your hair and I just want my dreads temporarily. So I'm just braiding that. There's a few other different methods a lot of other people like to use but I found this the easier and the most efficient especially when installing them by yourself. And then once I get closer to a less amount of hair to finish off the braid, what I like to do is when I'm braiding, I start braiding upwards and then pull the ends of the hair up into the braid. And then I basically tie it off with a small elastic band. Now small elastic bands you can find just anywhere. Can, you can find them in drugstores, department stores, dollar stores. Oh, and here's a beautiful dress. The link to this dress will be in the description down below if you would like a dress like this yourself. This dress is so adorable. <laughs> I actually got it from Shen, Shein.com. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, either Shen or Shein but they actually provided this dress for me. It was sponsored, but it's not a paid sponsor. Just FYI for transparency. So I'm just tying that off right now. As you see. And it's a really simple process. It's just really long, as you'll see as it goes on, because this will fast forward in many sections. I will show you in a few other clips if that wasn't quite clear in filming perception for you to see what I am doing. If you would like a video on how I make dreads, I could make a video like that in the future. I will also leave a link in the description down below for my favorite source for dread artists for custom making dreads. It's on Facebook and it's called the Dreadlock Kingdom. Some of you beautiful weirdos out there may already be aware of this Facebook group. 
so there we go. We got dread number one in. And now, uh, we're sped up because you can't see buttfuck anything while I'm like on that side like that. The real time to this video was actually taken in, I think, three days. <laughs> this takes a really long time to install dreads. Now here I'm showing you another sectioned portion. This is the second row where I will be placing the dreads. And when you get the hang of this method, it becomes quite like easy. You don't really have to look at anything to do it. You just feel. I mean, this is my third year installing dreads by myself in my hair. So I think, I mean, I think I've got it. If you guys would like to see a video on how I clean my dreads and how I uninstall them, I can make a video of that as well if you have an interest in such. Now we're coming in with regular sped. Is that the right terminology or grammar for that? Regular sped. <laughs> regular. We're coming in with the regular speed now. I'm showing you how to braid. A dreadlock in. This is actually so much easier when you have shorter hair because you don't have as much hair to braid around the dread. But a lot of people like to match their hair with dreads. But honestly, having mismatched hair in dreads can actually look quite cool. In my opinion, at least. I guess it, it depends on the person's perception and their beauty. Aesthetic preference. And yes, my arms did very much hurt after this. They hurt a lot. They actually hurt a couple days after this as well too. <laughs> so I, I recommend stretching your arms a lot. Or getting someone else to help you out that is definitely helpful however i did not have that that advantage i do not have any local friends who have the same style of dreadlocks as well as me then i'm one of those particular ass motherfuckers who needs my hair a specific way because if these braids are not tight i mean like i'm doing some raven with these things and, and i mean i don't want no dreads flying and hitting fellow ravers in the face just casually wouldn't that be great just you're having fun dancing then out of the blue this black snake just whips you across the face now imagine if that person was on acid at the same time i could only assume the realism of the snake-like figure within this dreadlock when one is on acid. I can only imagine.
subscribe if you haven't already and join my awesome crew of killer ass cookies. Don't mind my lack of makeup in like half of this video. I just basically hadn't been feeling wearing it since it's been so hot. It's just like a lot of minimal effort. So I will see you guys in my next video.